Hey guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here as always and welcome back to episode number two of my WWE Supercard journey. Now, as we log in for here, there's a couple of things uh, that I wanted to go through in today's episode. The first of which uh, being I wanted to give a massive, massive massive thank you uh to everybody that's shown me some such awesome support um it, since the the you know the opening let's say uh of this channel i mean i've seen that biggie dude has mentioned me on twitter uh zoma zoma got barbecue has mentioned me on twitter um supercard edward has mentioned me in one of his latest videos um uh, recommending that you guys you know head on over to my channel check out my content and obviously subscribe if you enjoy um, and I've uploaded, well obviously this is the second video, and I'm on nearly 200 subscribers already, so I just want to give a massive shout out to, you know, JB, Biggie Dude, Edward, everybody that has, um, you know, mentioned me on Twitter, and I want to give a massive thank you uh, to everybody that has watched the video, uh, to everybody that has already subscribed to the channel, left likes on the first video, um, it, it just means the world to me that this channel has started off the way that it has, basically. Um, uh, I just want to give a massive thank you to you all. I hope you guys stick around and you enjoy the content to come. Now, as we all know, we are currently in ring domination territory. For those of you interested, this is where I am right now, okay? My luck so far in ring domination has been absolutely bloody dreadful, okay? Uh, I'm not speed running through this ring domination, okay? Because the way I see it, Del Rio is going to be a legendary pro that is not going to be too useful for very long because... The way that I see it is going to be happening, this week is going to be ring domination, obviously. Next week is going to be a road to glory, giving us the opportunity to win the second all real card to pro it. And then the week after that is going to be what I hope to be and what I think a lot of people is going to hope to be is uh, the introduction of the new tier into the game and that PCC is going to be based on the new tier. So that is when we're going to be starting, you know, grinding to get survivor cards in King of the Ring, survivor freebies, you know. When it comes to my ladder reward actually, this is something that I forgot to mention in the very first uh, first video. I'm quite along the ladder. I played 16,828 games. Most of those games were in the PCCs. Most recently, the, the, the recent PCC, I came second. I grinded my ass off to be able to say finally that I have finished a PCC where I have finished in the top five. And I finally done it. I finished second. More than happy with that. And I actually finished a lot you know, higher up than I expected to. Most of, a lot of the games that I played were from that PCC. So I am currently, I want to say 600 and whatnot, just under 700 games away from my next ladder reward. And I want to stay clear of that as much as possible because I want to get that when the new tier is released. So that kind of plays into my bad luck. You know, it's not helping that my luck has been terrible. I'm not speedrunning this event like I just mentioned. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just playing the five bouts, waiting the whatever it takes to refill the bout and then playing the five again. I have ref played and refilled about seven times and this is all I have un 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 unveiled. Let's try it again. This is all I have unveiled of Seamus, which is obviously the epic card. Which is not going too well because, you know, like I said, I wanted my ladder reward to be as far away from me as I possibly can for now. Um, and the fact that Ring Domination is making me play more and more and more is not too great. But on the plus side of that, I have pulled an epic card from Ring Domination. Uh, epic card all the way down here. Where are we? There we go. We got ourselves a Mark Henry completely bloody useless to me at this point of the game but an epic card is an epic card and i'm not going to snuff it whatsoever now my current king of the ring situation is that i am in a very very good king of the ring i've pretty much guaranteed myself a legendary card because if i go to the contenders brackets banzig is the only other human in this king of the ring so i'm definitely going to be meeting him unless something horrible goes wrong which I am I don't think it's going to because uh, I've already won game one of my semi-finals um, as you can see it is a bot 
100%. It is a bot. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be an absolute ble uh, breeze through. Going to meet him in the finals. Uh, don't know whether I'll wait till tomorrow or the day after for my next Supercard video to, you know, show you my winnings. There's going to be a link in the description, guys, to my Twitter account. If you head on over there, drop me a follow. I'll probably tweet out my rewards uh, when I when when that time comes. Instead of waiting the extra day or whatnot to start another King of the Ring, get my rewards and, you know, start recording for that video and whatnot. So, I'm in a Season 1 King of the Ring as well. Um, it's a pretty decent King of the Ring. I got a bit lucky, to be honest, on the very first game because neither of us were energised. If I see Bret Hart up against Bret Hart, uh, I won all three games very nicely. Then I go into Game 2, I still didn't energise. I was kind of hoping that the other guy wouldn't energise as well, but he did. Um, and then I kind of played it lucky. I mean, I swapped to my other team, which was, luckily enough, uh, completely energised. And he thought that I was completely dead for the rest of the King of the Ring. So he didn't energise, which made me go on through to the semi-final. So, yeah, if you want to see my king, uh, winnings from this King of the Ring as well, drop me a follow on Twitter and I will release them later on. Now, what else did I want to do? I can't think. My mind's gone completely blank. I tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to play some uh, Ring Domination for now. Uh, and then if I remember... What I wanted to say or what I wanted to show you guys, I will do that later on. Okay, so what have we got? We got a decent deck. Mm, half and half. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the top left hand corner. That's what I usually do with this King of the with uh, this ring domination. Top left hand corner seems to be working the best for me. And as I say that, I lose my very first game. That's absolutely fantastic, JT. Well done. Alright, so I don't wanna risk my Undertaker against his Undertaker because I lose in three stats. Um, YOLO. Let's see if I proc. If I proc. Oh, it's, it's a draw anyway. Never mind, it's a draw. Okay. Let's go on to the next game. Who's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to have Sting there. Okay, so I can't beat him with Brock even if I proc. So I'm just going to chuck John Cena in the middle. Oh, okay. And look, <laughs> oh, don't proc, don't proc. I'm done. I'm done. I, <laughs> this is my luck in ring dom, guys. It just hardly ever goes my way, you know? I got one win. I have got absolutely no chance. Um, no, I don't think I've got any chance, have I? No. No. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? A loss for my very first game. That's not... <laughs> it's not what I wanted to go. Not the way I wanted to go. So, okay, so can this... Can it make it up to me now and give me a decent pull? Please? Pretty please? No. That's very, very nice of you. Okay, so we'll jump into the next game and hopefully our luck will change. Let me know your comments as well, guys. How far are you in your ring domination? Like I said, I'm I'm taking this uh, this one slow, so I'm probably gonna get Alberto Del Rio the card itself very late into the event with not long left until the actual event finishes. But uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. A lot of you may not even be able to get Del Rio. Let me know. That's what the comment section's for, guys. Okay, so do I risk it for a biscuit against Triple H with Sean? Because I do beat him in three stats. Yeah, we'll do that. What's your call power? Wow! <laughs> that's just typical. Bloody typical. Alright, so that's another bloody loss. Alright, where's he going to go now? Okay, he's put edge. So does... If I... What's, what's it? Uh, I beat him in two stats, but if I use my briefcase, I beat him in three stats. So the chances are. <laughs> it's not going my way. This is really not going my way at all. Uh, where's he going to go? He's going to go right back by there. So I could. Let's use that on Ryback and fingers crossed charisma or power. Yes! About bloody time something went my way. 
All right. So that's three to four. Can I see? If he goes down to the bottom now, which he does. Hang on. One, two, three. Yeah. Please don't call speed or charisma and proc. Don't proc. Oh, no. Ah, oh, but I, my toughness is too good. Toughness is too good. And I come away with a win. Oh, the, that nearly froze on me as well. Did you see that? It paused for a good... Does that happen with you guys? I mean, the, the app freezes on me so much. It's ridiculous. And if... It happens to me so much during events. It is so annoying because it takes my bout and leaves me with nothing. It freezes. i got to kill that. Oh, we got to reset. And we get an ultra rare enhancement. Even though these don't count as your guaranteed picks, it's still not nice to pull them, in my opinion. It just makes me feel horrible. You know, the feeling is still there of pulling them when they counted as your guaranteed pull. It's not nice. It's not nice. All right, let's get the rest of these polls. Can we get another reset? Ideally, Seamus... Oh, I didn't mean to tap there. All right, so what are we going to do, guys? We're going to see... Let's actually see if we can find someone. Like a big name of Supercar. Let's see if we can do it, guys. <laughs> we, we, it takes one try. Okay, so we're going to finish this, uh, this episode against Remy. See how many wins that boy had? Absolutely crazy amount of games he's played. All right. So, oh wow. So we get <laughs> we get all of my event cards. This is probably one of the best hands I could have dealt. All right. So if we if we face off against Remy here and we win, this will be fantastic. Okay. Power charisma. He procs. That's not the start I wanted to bloody see. Okay. Um, yeah. Even with. It's not good. It's not starting. We'll chuck John Cena by there. I'm hoping and praying he does right. I need something decent here. Yeah. Charisma. He procs again. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my days. Is this is this just my bad luck for this video? Or is your guy's luck this bad as well? Let me know down below. I want to know if anybody, everybody's luck is this bad. Um, do we use an event? Yeah, let's use an event card. Take back that. If it calls charisma and he procs now, I'll hit the roof. But we come away with a win there, so that's given us something from this game at least. Um, he puts his sting there. How does my sting compare to his? We draw in power and toughness. He beats me in speed. I beat him in charisma. So if I use my power on him, that should work. Should toughness. <laughs> Typical. It calls the one of the two stats that I could have changed. And Oh my god. See... Bad luck continues. Bad luck continues. But we got a down at right. One, two, three. Right. If as long as speed and or charisma isn't called, ah, there we go. We come away with a and I proc. So that's a nice way to end this. Be the perfect way to end this now, guys. If we manage to pull something decent off the board. Okay, Remy. Unlucky sunshine. I beat you. Sit down. <laughs> okay. Right. What do we get? We got an energy card, which is very very useful. Come on, give us a reset. Ideally, maybe even give us more than one reset. That would be fantastic. We get an uncommon rock. Useless. Cesaro. Useless. Reset. Pick doubler. I got enough of those, but thank you very much. Another one. Go to the top corners. Always start off with the top corners, guys. Because from my experience playing this game, they all... Most of the time, anyway, every way. Not all the time, because they're obviously not there now. And I've reached the card limit. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end this episode there. Again, to recap, a massive thank you to everybody. JB, Biggie Dude, Edward for shouting me out on Twitter. It, it's just fantastic the way my channel has gone because of you guys, you know. Uh, I've gained viewers. I've got a load of subs to start off the channel. Massive thank you to everybody that's watched the video and subscribed already as well. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. If you did enjoy, a like is greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more Supercard to come very soon. And as always from me, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.